everyone and welcome back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel. This is Mindy Egan and in today's video we are going to be creating an ink blended scene using Distress Oxides and the Paris Skyline products from Honey Bee Stamps. Before we get started I want to show you the supplies that I'll be using in today's video starting with the Paris Skyline die set. I'm using the Hello from the Slimline Sentiments. I have the Paris Skyline stencil follow that star stencil and pretty postage stamp set where I'll be using a sentiment from. I also have some white cardstock, pearlescent black cardstock, holographic, and also some plain black cardstock. Some additional supplies is the Nouveau Glacier paste, and this is in Golden Era, a palette knife, craft pick, tweezers, embellishment wand, liquid glue, anti-static powder, my Easy C tape, and also some post-it tape. I'll be using a Swiffer cloth, and I have some Gina K Designs dot runner, an embellishment tray, some tiny iridescent bubbles, white embossing powder. I also have a large tape runner, and my blending brushes from Honey Bee Stamps. My inks for today are from the Distress Oxide line, so I have black soot, aged mahogany, festive berries, and then some Versamark ink for heat embossing. I'm going to start off by ink blending my background, and this is using the festive berries with a blending brush. Now the cardstock that I'm using here, I have to trim down to three and three quarters by five inches. I thought that was the size I would be leaving it at. I do trim it down later on in the video, but this is the Ranger Heavyweight cardstock. It is a really nice, bright, bright white cardstock. And it is really smooth, so it is really nice for ink blending. So I started with my festive berries, and then I'm coming in with aged mahogany, adding that right above there, and then blending into the festive berries just a little bit. And then I'm going to top it off with black soot. Now I will go back and forth between the colors. I kind of like to add layers of colors to the cardstock. That just helps darken all of these colors up. So I do go back and forth between all of the colors until I'm happy with my blend. And then I'm going to take it over to a craft mat that I have here. This is a grid mat surface. It's a large piece of paper. And I love the grid lines on here. It's going to help me line up my stencils. So I started by adding a little bit of the Gina K Designs dot runner to the back of my cardstock so that it stuck to the paper. And then I'm taking one of the Paris Skyline stencil pieces. These break apart so you can use them all individually as to stencil or to mask your area. And then I lined the edge of the stencil up with the edge of the lines on the grid. That helped me keep my skyline straight. And I also added some low tack tape to the top so that I'm protecting the rest of my ink blended panel. And I'm starting off with festive berries. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm starting off with the aged mahogany. That is on top of the festive berries in the background. So I added that color and then I'm topping these silhouette images off with black soot. And I will blend just a little bit here and there between the two, making sure it's a smooth transition. I don't want the black soot to go down too far because I have another silhouette image that I want to add below this. So once I have that done and I have that blended nicely, I'll bring in my aged mahogany and you can see I'm just going right back over that. The more color I add to this, the darker it's going to be, which looks really amazing on my ink blended background. So that I'm just carefully removing that low tack tape for that great silhouette image. Now this is one of the other pieces. So it's a one stencil you're getting, but you trim it trim it apart so that you're getting multiple pieces out of this. And then you just need to mask off your area. So these are really great. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck out of these types of stencils. So once I have my edges of the stencil lined up flush with the black lines of the grid surface I have, I'm going to add that aged mahogany again and top it off with the black soot. Now I could have done this on the glass media mat that I like to work on, but I'm finding it really hard for post-it tape or any type of low tack tape to stick to my glass surface. So that is why I brought in this paper grid mat that I have. Now I'm going to mask off my silhouette images down here to do some work on the sky. So I lined up the top portion of that stencil, held it down with post-it tape, 
and I'm bringing in Follow That Star stencil, laying it right over the top of my background and holding that down with tape as well. Now I'll be bringing in the Nouveau Glacier paste. This is in Golden Era. I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of it out and I'm going to just spread this across my entire background. Now what is really cool about the Glacier paste is it almost has kind of a foiling look to it. Uh, it's not like a normal glitter paste that I've used before. This just has more shine than it does sparkle. So I start out pretty heavy in applying it. So that way I'm getting all the nooks and crannies of the stars. And then I'm going to just scrape off any of that excess. And I'm going to place it back into my jar as long as it didn't get tainted from the color of my background. Sometimes pastes will pick up the color. So just make sure that that's not tainted. And then I can come in and carefully remove my stencil. Now I only removed one corner and I'm going to open this kind of like a book. And this is helping me minimize any smearing when removing my stencil. Then I'll also remove my mask here. Carefully just peel that up. And I'm going to take these stencils over to the sink right away and clean them off. Now to remove this, I'm just carefully wiggling that back and forth and it just pulls right up from that grid paper. So while my background is drying, I'm going to work on a sentiment. I am using this Missing You sentiment off of the Pretty Postage stamp set, lining that up onto some black cardstock, and I'll pick that up with the door of my Misty. I'm going to prep my cardstock with an anti-static powder tool just to make sure that the embossing powder only sticks to my embossing ink. I'm inking it up with Versamark, which is a great embossing ink. And I'm just going to carefully press, press down. You don't want to apply too much pressure because then you could smush your letters. And then I'm going to take it and sprinkle on some white embossing powder, tapping off any excess back into my container. And I'm going to heat this up and melt it with my heat tool. Now you'll notice it's kind of white. So I'm taking a Swiffer cloth and I'm just dusting off any of that anti-static powder tool. And that'll help bring that black cardstock back to the forefront. Then I'm using the coordinating die, lining it up over my sentiment, holding it in place with that low tack tape, and I'll run that through my die cut machine. Now I did trim my ink blended panel down a little bit, which I trimmed it down to three and a half by four and three quarters. So what I'm doing is I took four pieces of cardstock trimmed to that same size and layered them together with my large tape runner. That's going to add dimension behind my panel. And then I attached it to a piece of white cardstock measuring four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I added that tape runner to the top of that and then I can attach my blended background once it was dry. I have the Eiffel Tower here from the Paris Skyline die set that I die cut from black pearlescent cardstock. And I added liquid glue and I'm just, I had a little bit too much liquid glue. So I just took my finger and kind of smeared off any extra. I didn't want it seeping out uh, outside of my dye because Distress Oxide inks are uh, reactive to water or any type of liquid. So I was being very careful with that. This is the Hello that I die cut from Holographic Cardstock. And this is off of the Slimline Sentiments die set. I really like how delicate it is. And then same thing, added it with liquid glue, kind of dabbed off any ex excess and attaching that right to the front of the card. I also have my Missing You. Now I did think about adding foam squares to this, but I was really just kind of liking it being flat at this point. I had enough dimension with the cardstock behind my ink blended panel. Now in this process, off on the side of my Eiffel Tower there on the left, I did get, I think it's some liquid glue there that I might have smeared. And to me, it stuck out like a sore thumb. So I dug through and I found my tiny iridescent bubbles and I'm adding those around the card front with the liquid glue. Now what's really cool about this is that it was kind of taking on the gold from that glacier paste. So when you look at the close up in the pictures, it looks like they're gold, but they're really iridescent. And I thought that was just really cool. That finishes up my card for today. I will have all the supplies listed down below in the video description. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon.